everyone, welcome back to the Cosplay Madness, that is my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made the resin gems and crown for my Sailor Padme cosplay. This tutorial can be used for any Sailor Scout and for any resin gems you need to make. So let's get started. The first thing you need are some molds. I'm using these silicone molds I just got off of Amazon. You can also use polypropylene molds, but make sure they're polypropylene or else the resin will stick to the plastic and you will never get your gem out. Ever. I prefer silicone molds because they don't require any sort of release agent when you use them. Next, you need at least three popsicle sticks and a way to mark the popsicle sticks A, B, and C. Then you will need three disposable cups. I have two medicine cups with measurements on the side so I can properly measure out the resin. And you, of course, need your resin. I'm using this EasyCast two-part resin, which requires mixing equal parts of resin and hardener together. You can use any resin you want, but make sure you read the directions before you use it. Also make sure you're in a well-ventilated area outside before you start casting. To use the resin, pour the hardener into one of the medicine cups and the resin into the other, making sure you have equal parts of each. Then use the A popsicle stick to scrape the hardener into the mixing cup and the B popsicle stick to scrape the resin into the mixing cup. Then take the C popsicle stick and mix the two together until it's fully incorporated. It takes about a minute of mixing. When your resin is mixed, you can carefully pour it into your molds. Since you mixed your resin, there will be a lot of air bubbles in it, and you don't want bubbly gems, so to get out the bubbles, let the molds sit for about 15 minutes. You can also tap the molds to agitate the resin and make the bubbles rise to the top. Once the bubbles rise to the top of the resin, just run a lighter across the surface to pop all of them. It's like magic! Cover your molds with a shoebox and leave them to cure for at least 24 hours. Once the 24 hours is up, you can pop your gems out of the molds. The red mold I used is made of a smooth and polished silicone, so the gems came out super glossy and clear. The pink mold is a matte finish silicone, so the gems have a cloudy look to them. This is really easy to fix, though. If your gems are matte, you can either mix up some more resin and carefully coat them, or just use some clear nail polish like I'm using here. I used three gems for my Sailor Padme, one for the crown, one for the choker, and one for the front bow. Once the clear polish was dry, it was time to color the gems. There are a lot of ways to color gems, like mixing dye directly into the resin, giving them a quick bath in synthetic dye, or painting the back of them with something like nail polish or acrylic paint. I'm using a sparkly red nail polish for my Padme gems. They turned out so sparkly and beautiful, I love them. Next is the Sailor Crown. These are super easy. Just take a piece of paper, fold it in half, draw a slightly curved V shape on it, and cut it out. Hold it up to your forehead to test out the shape and make any adjustments to the pattern until you like it. Then I heated up some Warbla, folded it over to make two layers, and laid my pattern on it. Then I cut it out using an X-Acto knife. Next, I used this small rotary mat to cut out strips of warbler that are 1 8 of an inch wide. Then I heated up the warbler and laid the little strips onto the edges of the crown. Since warbler is a thermoplastic, it sticks to itself when you heat it up. If you want to do this a cheaper way, you can use craft foam. I made a craft foam sailor crown for my old Sailor Miku cosplay, but I will also have warbler linked in the description. Once the crown had a nice raised edge, I heated it up again and pressed it against my forehead. I kept it on until the warbler had completely cooled and it will hold its shape forever. Warbla has a slightly bumpy texture, so I primed it with a few coats of Mod Podge using a hairdryer to make the process a little faster. Then to paint the crown, I just used some gold spray paint and gave it a couple of coats. When the spray paint was dry, I glued down the gem I made for my crown using E6000, and then I glued the other two gems onto the bow and choker. And that's how you make Sailor Scout crowns and resin gems. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. If you'd like to see progress photos and photo shoot pictures, check me out on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. All of those are linked in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, good luck on all of your cosplay adventures, and I'll see you next time. Bye!